This channel supports Extra Life in its efforts to raise money for the Children's Miracle Network. For more information about how to donate and join in their efforts, go to the link displayed here. Extra Life. Play games. Heal kids. This entire playoff run is their ability to start off extremely slow. And I felt like tonight they kind of started out a little bit faster. They weren't playing the best, but they started out faster. They were making extra passes, um, finding the open man, not just settling for certain shots. Um, at least it didn't look at, like that. And, of course, they were a little bit more on early on. Of course, Stephen Curry didn't have the greatest game in the world. He had 22 points, but he kind of took a back to other players, which was beneficial because he hasn't been shooting well. And for him to just continue to jack up shots kind of was hurting them even though he's probably the best shooter no he is the best shooter in the NBA right now he's not feeling it and him being in that slump isn't helping his team out any so you know while he's instead of just trying to continue to shoot himself out of it he kind of gave up the ball a little played a little more unselfish I thought now, I didn't finish watching the game because I had to get up at like 5.30 in the morning. But I watched up to the point where I knew that there's still a problem with Golden State. And at the point where I had to go to bed, I was kind of mad too. They had cut the, Cleveland had cut the lead to three points. And this is with a LeBron James not playing um, at his top level. Not even playing, um, you know at the level he was playing in the first three games. Me personally, I don't think that was LeBron at his best, at least not as his fit, most efficient, but that was his, like, that was him playing the hardest um, and doing as much as he can. Uh, this game, he was playing hard, he was trying, but I just felt like another reason that Golden State kind of got a little better jump is that I think LeBron is tired. I mean, the man has been doing everything pretty much damn near a triple double every damn game in the finals he's doing whatever he can to get his team to the victory and he you have to remember he's not playing with a team that any of us would imagine would be able to help him win a championship I mean and this is no disrespect I've talked about it before it's like I know you know people say Shumpert is really good defensively but he's not a consistent enough offensive player. J.R. Smith, I've never liked J.R. Smith. I'm probably one of the few people who never liked J.R. Smith. Reason being is because he's a knucklehead. He takes ill-advised shots, does some ill-advised things on the court, but he always has that one game, that one game where he goes nuclear and everybody's just in love with J.R. Smith. I've never bought into that. It's like, he'll give you four bad games but that fifth good game, everybody's just like enamored on. I never thought, I mean, he's, and the thing is, it's not like he's without talent. I'm not saying he's not talented. I'm not saying he doesn't have any skill. I just think that he just, he's, he can lose games just as much, if not more, than he can win games, in my opinion. That's just my opinion with J.R. Smith. And then Della Dover, God bless him. He tries hard. God plays gritty hard, but, you know, even though he was able to get a couple of good shots, he's not a scorer at the moment. He he doesn't have a consistent offensive game either. His 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 paycheck is built off the fact that he's a hustler. He's a grinder, you know. And that's his thing. Um, so and then you have Moskov, who you know Moskov and um, Thompson, who you know they've been controlling the boards, you know, banging down low. Um, but again. It's the inconsistency. They're not like efficient post players where you know as soon as you dump them down, more di more times than not, they're going to like get to the basket and score. You know what I mean? So he's on a team where scoring is a problem. And the fact that Golden State was able to jump out early and jump out big and maintain that lead is pretty much why they lost. Is if they would have played even or from at front like they've been playing the entire series, leading up to game four i'm not sure that golden state was going to come out of there with a victory um golden state i think they caught a tired rundown team and this may be to their advantage um 
Then again, it may not be because the way that things are scheduled, Cleveland, they get three days off. You know, they get a couple of days off. It's three days until the next game. Um, so they get two free days of rest. Third day, they play. LeBron can heal up a little bit, get over whatever um, other effects that head injury that he got when Bogut pushed him might have caused. Um, this gives them a little bit of chance to revitalize Della Dover get over those cramps and all that. LeBron get over his cramp. This gives Cleveland a chance to freshen up, to go hard again, the way they've been going hard at Golden State. So Golden State, while they are blessed with that victory, the fact that this is a 2-2 series doesn't really bode well for them because the scheduling, uh, in a weird sense, seems to favor Cleveland in helping them with any fatigue and their lack of depth right now because after game um, five, they come back Tuesday. So if they win game five, come back Tuesday and lose game six, sure, they got to go back to Golden State, but they've played well in Golden State and they, again, get another two days off in between that before they go and play that final game. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. This is a very, very interesting series, I must say. But anyway, you guys hit me up. Let me know what you think, and I'll holler at you later. This is your boy Black Megas, and I'm out. Deuces.